Hey, hi there, YouTube, and welcome to my video um, about how you can uh, about how to convert decimals into fractions without using a calculator. Uh, these quite often come up in the non-calculated exams because they'll be very easy to do with a calculator, as you could imagine. So here we have a decimal 0 0.1 recurring. So that means that the one is going to go on forever. And this can be represented as a simple fraction. It can be represented as one ninth. Now, quite a lot of you may know this out of common knowledge. However, I'm going to show you the methods on, of how to work this out. And this will equip you for when you have more complex problems, which you do not know what the common, what the fa fraction is from using your own knowledge. So to start with, we're going to label. We're going to put this into a formula. We're going to say 0 0.1 recurring is equal to n. And next step we're going to do is we're going to shift the 1 recurring to the left. So you get 1.1 recurring equals 10n. We do this because you want to line up. You see we're lining up? We want to line up the recurring uh, to prepare us for the uh, subtraction which we're about to do. What we're about to do now is we're going to subtract n from 10n. So we're going to get 9n. So 9n is going to equal 1. So you may see where this is going now. Um, now we want to get n on its own so we can have a, a proper value for it. So we're going to do divided by n on this side. So put divide by, sorry, divide by 9 on this side. And divide by 9 on the other side. So 1 divided by 9 is also the same as 1 divided by 1 over n is going to equal n, and n is our original value 0.1. So that's the method of how to do it. Uh, let me show you uh, another example. Uh, let's try. Yeah, let's try the fraction 1 third. Uh, most of us shouldn't will know that one third is equal to 1.3 recur. And let's show the proof of how to work this out. So first of all we show, say that 0.3 recur is equal to n. And we're going to shift shift this across to the left, left by multiplying it by 10. So 3.3 recur is equal to 10n. And remember we did this before so we can line up the, the recurring section of this in preparation for our subtraction. So we're going to subtract 9, we're going to subtract n from both sides. So 3.3 .3 divided by 0 0.3 is equal to 3 equals 9n. And now we're going to divide both sides by, by 9. So 3 divided by 9 is equal to n. And then that simplifies down to one third. Let's try divided by nine. Divided by nine. So as you can see, it's quite a simple and organised way to prove that a decimal is equal to a fraction, a particular fraction. Uh, my next videos, I'm going to be going into some more complex problems where you have more than one, uh, more than one fraction to deal with not more than one fraction, but a more complex decimal to deal with. It's like 0.123 recur. Uh, questions like that. Uh, so I hope you found this video um, educating and I hope you learned something. I hope this helps you. And if it did, uh, please subscribe to my videos. I would very much appreciate that. And uh, please give me some feedback on how I can improve my videos. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye. Sorry about that. Like here, we have to square square root it to get rid of the square here. You have to square it to get rid of the square root brackets here. It's just using your common maths to sort out equations. That's essentially what this is. Anyway, I hope this video um, taught you something and it wasn't too confusing. Um, if you have any suggestions about my videos, not just this video, but my videos in general, uh, please don't hesitate to comment, I would really appreciate it. And uh, 
don't, remember, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.